The American Association of Physicians from India, RP, held a press conference on September 29, 2024 at the Indian Consulate in New York, led by Dr. Satish Katula, RP President, and Dr. Hethal Gore, Trustee. The event introduced the upcoming Global Healthcare Summit to be held in New Delhi on October 19th and 20th. The event attended by distinguished RP leaders and officials from the Council General of India emphasized the importance of collaboration between Indian American physicians and healthcare sectors in both nations. Dr. Kathula outlined RP's key initiatives in the US, including a stem cell drive and heart attack prevention campaign, while veteran advisor Dr. Sudhir Parikh emphasized the need for medical student exchanges and advanced healthcare collaborations between India and the US. The summit aims to address critical health issues such as cancer and heart attack prevention through lifestyle changes and technology. Hello everybody, my name is uh, Dr. Satish Kathula. I'm an oncologist from Dayton, Ohio. I'm the current president of Hapi, which represents uh, about uh, 80,000 Indian doctors in this country. We have 15,000 dues-paying members. Uh, we had a great uh, meeting at uh, Indian Consulate General's office today and Consul General uh, uh, Honorable uh, Binay Pradhan was uh, here to uh, grace the occasion uh, and we had a media conference as well. Uh, today we discussed uh, a lot about uh, the vision of RP this year, what we are going to do in the US and in India. In the US we are going to do three projects, uh, one is uh, um, stem cell or bone marrow drive for patients who have leukemia and lymphoma who need stem cell or bone marrow transplant uh, and it is a very simple process uh, all uh, donors have to do is uh, you know send a buccal swab uh, for uh, a sample of DNA and uh, if uh, you match uh, with a person who needs uh, stem cell donation then we will contact you uh, there is a program called NMDP National Marrow Donor Program and you'll be enrolled into that uh, South East Asians and Indians have very small pool of uh, stem cell donors, so we need that uh, very badly. Uh, and we encourage all Indian Americans who are 18 to 40, 40 years of age to participate in this program to increase the pool. That's number one project. Number two project, we are trying to increase physical activity and honor veterans in this country. We are trying to do what is called million miles of gratitude. Everybody who walks a mile, they can log in those miles into uh, a Google form which we provide and once we collect that million miles, that's million miles of gratitude. Each mile anybody walks or runs is a gratitude for a veteran who is serving to save us. So that's the second project. Third project we want to do is uh, how to prevent heart attacks in Indian American community and coming up with uh, some uh, screening tests like CT uh, coronary calcium screening uh, or uh, doing CT angiograms and how to really uh, give them resources and, and, uh, and we have so many Indian cardiologists working all over the country and we will uh, tap into the, that resource and then have them help the local Indian community in that particular city. So these are the things that we are planning to do and we are planning to do a global health summit in India with the theme of preventing cancer and heart attacks uh, actually with lifestyle modification and technology. So. Uh, these are the things, uh, the GHS, the Global Health Summit, will be held in New Delhi from October 19th to 20th, and I want everybody to attend that, especially physicians, or if you have any friends who are physicians in India, ask them to attend in Delhi uh, this coming month. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Dr. Jagdish Gupta. I've been pretty active with API over the years and have served as a Board of Trustees of API National. I have also served as a president of the, our local chapter of RP of Queens and Long Island and other medical organization. I am very happy to be here during the leadership conference and press release of RP 2024. Association of Indians uh, in uh, Asso American Association of Physicians from India, RP has been uh, an organization since 1982 or so, and then uh, we have been working very, very hard to assimilate some of the medical knowledge which we have learned here over the years and sort of exchange it with the people in India in the Global Health Summit. The Global Health Summit will be happening in October this year, on October 19th, and 
all the physician listeners, I would like to invite them over there to be there and join us over there. Thank you. My dear friends, Honorable Council General Pudanji and dear friends, well, I think uh, what uh, Satish, uh, our President, has described uh, uh, is uh, advocacy and diplomacy when we rally, uh, I think, excellent uh, ideas. And uh, whatever the APIs will hear, all are great ideas. But I would like to add a couple of more things. Uh, because now, as we discussed yesterday, myself and Dr. Satish, we were in uh, North Carolina. Uh, we have a Indian Medical College alumni gathering. And there also we discussed this issue that, uh, of course, India has kept, came a long way. India doesn't need really what we used to do 20, 30 years ago. Sending the, we started the, remember, CAT scan machine and uh, MRI machine and those things. And now, uh, and inform uh, and, and them with all these things. But now, India need more than that. I mean, India doesn't need really fun for it. But India uh, needs an uh, exchange program for the medical students, those who are coming, because all the medical students, those who want to uh, uh, get a residency here, they need to have observation. So we all, after the leadership of uh, Dr. Satish uh, Kathula, what we should have some kind of uh, structured thing that we can give uh, observation to those students which they need to get the residency in the different uh, field. So I think we should do that. Also, we should get exchange of the faculty from the India uh, and uh, start a uh, uh, global CME, what we are doing in the global division of India, you know, in the um, going to be income is necessary in the next year. So this thing really will teach the young generation state of art education for the Western countries. And I'm sure Dr. <coughs> Sati is uh, uh, going to do that and uh, all my support will be with you uh, both ways as a doctor and as a media person. Other distinguished members of Papi, thanks for media. A real pleasure to be here. Uh, it's like uh, I was present in the API event at, uh, at uh, the Marriott when we were celebrating that, I guess, two weeks back. And there I mentioned that my first association with API was way back in 2005 when API came to Moscow for their convention. And I was there joining one of my senior colleagues from Foreign Service, who was a uh, graduate from Foreign Institute of Medical Science. He passed away two months back by the last in Turkey, Dr. Berenda Paul. So he took me to the Happy Convention in Moscow. And uh, I didn't know much about that, but then I remember after the event, I came up with an impression that here is an Indian organization, you know, uh, which is very powerful uh, in terms of the great work it is doing in the American society. So you could feel that, uh, you know, uh, that uh, even when I was in Moscow without uh, being familiar with the way of land here. I, I, I developed a sense that this community uh, is making an impact in uh, the mainstream United States. Uh, good evening, ITV. This is Professor Saluja, editor of the Indian Panorama from New York Consulate General's Office. I'm here at the moment uh, to attend a press conference being organized by the RP leadership to announce their global health conference to be held in Delhi. It's a wonderful oca occasion and uh, I'm, I'm very glad that uh, RP has thought of a global health conference uh, in India and uh, I wish them all the best and I hope uh, RP that has that's a very old organization of doctors here, physicians of Indian origin, they will continue to do the good work and uh, be a wonderful cementing force between India and America. Thank you so much. This is Jasbir Jay Singh from Hum Hindustani. We are very happy to be here today at the AAP press conference and the media is here. And our AAP president and our committee promises the media that they will be here and our media will work in India and here and the relations are going to be taken forward. Thank you. So I just want to thank Api. I think this was beautiful that uh, we were all here at the Consulate uh, General of uh, India in New York with Api about the leadership role and what a leader is and 
this is very um, inspiring and the council general is so humble and with the rp president dr satish katula i think this is a good gathering wherein all the physicians and non physicians have come together to discuss about the leadership role and uh, we hope that this year we will continue to do further such uh, seminars uh, that can be beneficial to the community and to uh, the physicians in general thank you